Hey there folks, today we're going to be evaluating an expression using a given equation. So we have x minus root x equals 4, and we're supposed to evaluate x minus 4 over the square root of x. In this video, we're going to be solving our problem in two ways. So make sure to watch till the end to not miss the second method. Great. Now let's go ahead and talk about the first method. So here's what we're going to do in the first method. We're going to replace root x with y, which means that x equals y squared and y is a positive quantity. Next, if we do all of these replacements, we're going to have y squared minus y equals 4. Then by subtracting 4 from both sides, we're going to get a simple quadratic equation in terms of y. And then if we apply the quadratic formula, we're going to get y equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, all divided by 2. So this simplifies to y equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 17, all divided by 2. Now notice that we want y to be a positive quantity. So let's go ahead and break these two down and see whether they are positive or they're not. So let's say that y equals 1 plus root 17 all divided by 2. Obviously, this is a positive quantity, and therefore, it is a valid solution. But if y equals 1 minus root 17 all divided by 2, this is going to be a negative value because root 17 is greater than 1, and therefore this is not a valid solution. So we only have one valid value of 4, y, and that is 1 plus root 17 all divided by 2. Great. Next, let's go ahead and recap everything that we know. So we know that root x equals y, and y equals 1 plus root 17 all divided by 2, and we want to evaluate x minus 4 over root x. So as I said before, we know that x equals y squared. Therefore, if you want to evaluate x minus 4 over the square root of x, that's just the same thing as y squared minus 4 over y. Notice that y is 1 plus root 17 divided by 2. So this equals 1 plus root 17 all divided by 2 and then squared minus 4 over 1 plus root 17 divided by 2. Now notice that we can simplify this. So the first fraction will be simplified to 1 plus 17 plus 2 times root 17 all divided by 4 minus and the second fraction is going to be 8 over 1 plus root 17. Now, notice that the first fraction is 18 plus 2 times root 17 all divided by 4. So we can simplify this simply by dividing both the top and the bottom by 2. So it'll be simplified to 9 plus root 17 divided by 2. And to simplify the second fraction, we need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying both the top and the bottom by 1 minus root 17. So we're going to get this. And then this will be simplified to the first fraction minus 8 times 1 minus root 17 on the top. And in the bottom, we're going to get 1 minus 17, which is negative 16. Now, notice that we can simplify this by canceling this with this. So we will have a 2 in the bottom. And these two negative signs will be combined to a positive sign. So we will have 9 plus the square root of 17 divided by 2 plus 1 minus root 17 divided by 2. Now, if we add these two up, we're going to end up with 10 divided by 2, which equals 5. 
So our expression is equal to five, and this means that we are done with the first method. Next, let's go ahead and solve our problem using the second method. So in the second method, we're going to use the substitution method again, but we're going to use it in a slightly different way. So we know that x minus root x equals 4, and we want to evaluate x minus 4 over the square root of x. So here's the deal. We can go ahead and replace this expression with 4, but we can also do the opposite. We can replace 4 with x minus root x. So whenever we see a 4, we can replace it with this expression, and that's what we're going to do here. So we want to evaluate x minus 4 over root x. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this 4 and I'm going to replace it with this expression. So our expression is equal to x minus x minus root x all divided by root x, which simplifies to x minus root x times root x minus root x divided by root x. Next, we can factor out a root x on the top. So we get x minus root x times the quantity, the square root of x minus 1 divided by the square root of x. Obviously, this simplifies to x minus the quantity root x minus 1, which simplifies to x minus root x plus 1. Now remember that x minus root x is equal to 4, so this equals 4 plus 1, which equals 5. Great. So again, we found out that our expression is equal to 5, and this brings us to the end of the second method, and it brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this, and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully, I will see you later. Goodbye for now.